Hi, uh, I'm Ryan and I'm covering for Alejandro. This is Friday on Bunch of Rejects. Um, yes, so greetings from sunny Scotland. Um, the weather is fantastic here and I am sweating like a pig because we're not used to the hot weather, as you can tell by my skin. I don't tan very well. Um, Alejandro was asking me to do a blog and say about my favourite superhero. So I made a little video about my favourite superhero, so that will be at the end of this video. And I'll just talk a wee bit about what I've been doing. Um, I was at my cousin's last night and she was telling me horror stories about her old job. She used to work with old people. And there was this little woman called Mrs. Pepperpop because she was so small, she was teeny weeny. And well, everyone hated her. And they were going on this kind of day trip. And as she was going on the bus, she slipped and fell and scraped her leg. But what happened was, because old people's skin's so thin and fragile, was it slid right off the bone like a well cooked chicken. And what my cousin had to do was she had to peel this old woman's stocking back off the skin that had come off. And then the skin that had came off, she had to roll back over the sort of muscle. Mm, I cringe at that story. Um, and then there was another one that she was saying that there was this old man and he fell and sliced his ear off a skirt and she, she says she thinks the orderlies must have been sanding down the, the skirtings and made them razor blade sharp. I don't know how she could have worked with old people because I have no patience. I had one I'd end up getting depressed because, well, it's depressing. Or two, I'd end up like the angel of death. I'd have no patience. I'd end up on like a TV expose, like Panorama or, or something like that. Um, I know my limits. I could never do that. Um, and that's that's about it. And I was there for a, a good couple of hours. Usually, I go once a week. I hadn't seen her for about six years, and then I bumped into her on the bus. So. Once a week I go over and we have just a good little matter. Um, it's Friday today and tomorrow it's Gay Pride. I have never ever been to Gay Pride. I've always been working it. So I'm really really looking forward to it. Usually um, when I was younger at least I worked in the gay bars. so the required that was on during Pride and I was kind of in the festivities but not able to partake of the festivities and then once I started working in the gay bars I kind of started questioning well, what's the point of Pride? Why do gay people need a date go hey hey I'm here I'm queer yay um, straight people didn't do that, they're not like straight pride, but then I started to realise that yeah, straight people don't need pride because they don't have to constantly justify themselves every single day um, and it's nice to have a day of the year where you're able to just completely be yourself and not have to dress it up for anyone um, you can hold your partner's hand where, 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 whenever you want. So I think Pride's good in that sense, but I also had a problem with Pride because it used to be political. It was about having visibility and sort of fighting for gay rights. Now it's just kind of commercial. It's about selling as much beer as possible. It's just a day where people go out, get as drunk as possible, and fuck as much as possible. 
and I thought, well, I could do that any day of the week. Um, but then I just thought, you know what, what's the point of moaning about the lack of sort of the political aspect of Pride, where I may as well just get on with it. Just take the stick at my ass and enjoy the day for what it is. There's going to be lots of really nice guys out. Hopefully the weather, if it's like today, it'll be glorious. Um, so I'm planning on having a really good day. I'm going to go out with my friend Betty. Um, he and I are going to do the march, which goes along like the sort of main streets of Edinburgh. And after that, we'll grab lunch, meet with some other friends, and we'll start the drinking. Um, Betty and I don't usually set out to get drunk, but we always end up pretty hammered because we can drink a lot. Um, so I've said to him that we're going to take it calmly because I intend to be out all night. Usually the bars close at 3 o'clock in Edinburgh, but because it's Gay Pride, uh, the gay bars always have an extended licence, or at least they used to when I worked in them. So I'll be out to 5 in the morning, and then that's when the other bars start to open. So I'll probably be drinking like all day Sunday as well, and then I'll go to my parents' house and babysit. So I'll probably arrive just a little bit drunk, but my brothers are old enough to look after themselves. It's, I just need to be a body in the house. So it's like if they're hungry, they can eat pot noodle. They know how to boil the kettle. They're not that young; they're twelve and fourteen, so they can't cook for themselves, and they don't deserve to live. I will never, ever, ever, ever have kids. Oh, I hate children. I'd be the bitch girlfriend. I may seem like the shy, retiring type, but it's a quiet one you have to watch for. My superpowers would probably be passive aggressive manipulation and the pussy whip. Your boyfriend's not doing what he's told, you withhold. It's not hard to control a man. My weaknesses would probably be other women. Another woman try to take my man to fall to pieces. But well, that's when the gloves come off and the nails come out. My special power would probably be razor blade snatch. That thing's got teeth. 